you are about to meet the women tasked with safeguarding some of the Middle East's most sacred and disputed landmarks and territories. My name is India, and today we are going on a real patrol with Israel's female border police. The border police of Israel are integral to the nation's security and have been involved in key operations since their formation. The force is known for its presence in Jerusalem, where they perform a variety of security duties and are heavily involved in anti-terrorism and riot control operations. Interestingly enough, Israel has seen a notable increase in the number of women joining its border police, who make up around 35% of the approximately 9,000 strong force. In recent years, there have been a record number of female officers in training, leading to the formation of the first female-majority companies in the border police's history. This surge reflects a growing interest and commitment among Israeli women to participate in defending the country's borders. I'm uh, Moran, about 35, in the same age, with my mother and my mother in Rome. In the border, I'm 17 years old. Moran is the only female border police commander here in the West Bank. The West Bank is a significant and complex region divided into areas A, B, and C based on the Oslo Accords. This division affects the daily lives of people in the region and is a focal point of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Why did you decide to become a border police officer? I am a third Women like Moran, assuming key roles in the West Bank, demonstrate the growth of female leadership in especially high-pressure and volatile environments. Our goal here is להבטיח את שלומם וביטחונם של כל מי שחי בגזרה הזאת. אנחנו מדברים גם על המתיישבים, ואנחנו מדברים גם על הפלסטינאים שנמצאים פה. But their job does not come without risks. In January 2024, in the West Bank city of Jenin, a female border police officer, Sergeant Shai Galmai, was killed in a terror attack when an explosive device targeted her and her unit's vehicle during armed clashes in the region. What are the challenges of women, specifically, in the border police? Lohamot Bachail nechnesu kvar mi shnat 95. היום כבר בנו, לוחמות, קצינות, הגיעו לדרג המ"פ, שזה משהו שקרה רק בתקופה האחרונה. היחס הוא שווה ערך מבחינת נשים וגברים, לוחמות ולוחמים בחיל, ואין תפקיד שפתוח ללוחם או קצין מפקד במשמר הגבול, שהוא לא פתוח ללוחמת או מפקדת. פה זה המפעל של הר ברכה של הטחינה. אבל שזה הטחינה? אפשר אחר כך לעצור שנייה. הם מביאים טחינה ככה לטעימה. The city we are overlooking now, Nablus, has experienced tensions, particularly between neighboring Jewish communities and Palestinian residents. את יכולה לראות פה? את קבר יוסף, ממש איפה שהכיפה הלבנה. Nablus is a major Palestinian city in the West Bank, and it is also home to Joseph's tomb, which is one of the most important holy sites in Judaism. Because it is a Palestinian city, Jewish Israelis face restriction on access. As a result, when religious Jews visit to pray every so often, it necessitates a substantial joint security operation between the border police and the Israeli army to manage the significant risks involved. So the rest of our shoot was canceled because unfortunately there was a terror attack in Tel Aviv. I will keep you updated. Jerusalem, Israel's capital, is a city at the epicenter of historical and religious significance and a focal point for security concerns. The border police's significant presence here is a direct response to the myriad of security challenges the city faces. 
Stabbings, shootings, arson, vehicle rams, and stone throwing attacks are all too common. It demands constant vigilance to maintain peace. כאן אנחנו כבר נכנסים ללב של סילואן, לציר שהוא כבר מתחיל להיות בעייתי לכל האורך שלו. מתנפלים לכוחות שלנו, בין אם זה בבקבוקי תבערה, אבנים, מטענים לפעמים קורים פה. In the heart of these tensions lies Silwan, an Arab-Palestinian neighborhood in East Jerusalem. In recent years, Silwan has become a flashpoint due to housing disputes, particularly in the Batan al-Hawa section, where the eviction of 19 Palestinian families has ignited major controversy. These disputes are deeply rooted in history, revolving around the claims to homes that were owned by Jews before Jordan's occupation of East Jerusalem in 1948 similar to the cases in a nearby neighborhood also in East Jerusalem, Sheikh Jarrah. The legal battles and subsequent evictions have heightened friction in Silwan, as a handful of Jewish families now reside among the neighborhood's Palestinian population. This is the Jewish house. It's called Bet Yonatan. It's not a house for a long time. It's a house for a long time. It's a house for a long time. So what do you do when there is a conflict between a Jewish family and an Arab family? What are the kinds of things they fight about? הם מסתכלים, זה ריבים שהם מאוד שטותיים בדרך כלל, ודברים שהם הרבה פעמים מיותרים, ובגלל זה אנחנו מנסים למנוע אותם. And what are the challenges as a woman in the police force? אני חושבת שתמיד בתור אישה, את תמיד תרגישי יותר נחותה מבחינת... כשגבר פונה אלייך, אז תמיד הוא יחשוב שהוא מעלייך. לפעמים כוח, זה לא תמיד איזה כוח יש לך בגוף. זה גם מה אתה משדר, ואיך אתה מתנהל, ואני יכולה להיות חזקה מבלי להיות uh, הכי חזקה בעולם בגוף שלי. Amidst this backdrop of the unrest and legal strife, the female officers of the border police confront daily risks. I noticed Leoran's broken watch. When I asked her about it, she told me it was broken in an incident where rocks had been thrown at her. Tensions are so high in this area that the Jewish families who live here must be transported to their homes in an armed vehicle. Our crew experienced those tensions firsthand as we rode in the vehicle out of the neighborhood. <gasps> so now you know a little bit more about the women who guard some of the most sensitive areas in the world. Their commitment, courage, and conviction drive them in their mission to secure Israel's borders task that's only for the bravest of hearts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.